Topping our news at 6, exclusive new results for standardized testing in the province, and the grades are not good, especially when it comes to math. Queen's Park Bureau Chief Colin DeMello is here with more. Colin. Well, the majority of students in grade six, Allen, couldn't meet the provincial standards when it came to mathematics last year. These numbers have not changed since 2018, but tonight the Minister of Education is blaming the pandemic. For the past four years, Premier Doug Ford has promised to pull up Ontario's math scores. We're turning the corner with education again. Rather than having our students the lowest in the country math scores, 50% of them are, are failing. But the latest provincial standardized testing data obtained by Global News shows students are still failing. 59% of grade 3 students met the provincial standard in 2021-22, while just 47% of grade 6 students met the same standard. Those numbers are nearly identical to 2018, suggesting students haven't improved over the past four years. But Ontario's education minister points to the pandemic as the reason for the low scores. The pandemic took kids out of school, created mass disruption. In every region of the world, math and literacy are regressing. At tutoring centers, some have seen it firsthand. My kid has lost confidence. They're scared asking questions. They feel really, really anxious in math class. And that to me is I actually think the biggest difference between now and pre-pandemic is the anxiety around mathematics. But the reasons behind the poor results might be more complex. The province overhauled the math curriculum in 2020, and others believe class sizes play a larger role. So we need to lower the ratio between the educators and the students, because if a student has a question in a classroom of 30, it's impossible. There's no way they're going to get that support from the teacher. But the minister contends that Ontario students aren't alone. According to government data, students in other provinces and U.S. states also suffered during the pandemic to suggest that wasn't at the crux of the challenge would be unfair because we're seeing this trend in every province, in every region of the world. We're not an outlier. The minister is now signaling scores will improve over the next three years. By how much? We want every student to succeed in the province. That's a figure the government won't share. In the short term, the Ford government says it has a plan to help students catch up. That includes a $365 million fund to give parents direct payments if they want to enroll in after-school tutoring. The government says additional details, including how you can apply and how much each individual child will receive, could be coming as early as tomorrow. At Queen's Park, I'm Colin DeMello. Alan, back to you. A lot of parents will be interested in that information. Thanks, Colin.